Hello everybody. Now, today, doing something a little different. Um, up here through my bales, and I want to just explain to you a lot of people that don't know, or maybe aren't from a farming background, but you often see bales along the roadside and in different places, and a lot of them will have paint on them, just like what you're seeing now. And you might think that this is just purely for decoration, or, or maybe just not have the understanding of what it is. I'm doing this short video today just to actually show you how important painting your bales is. But it just all depends as well at your location. But here we have a lot of trees overhanging our bales, and you know it's a, it's more of a it's I suppose this this part of the country there's a, there is an awful lot of trees as you can see, and there's an awful lot of board life as well, and. If your bales aren't painted, it's, it's a very, very simple procedure, but if your bales aren't painted, they're very prone to uh, being pecked at by boards. So the paint is just kind of a deterrent um, to kind of keep boards away. Some people think it doesn't work, some people think it does. Well, my experience, and from what I'm gonna show you now, it absolutely 100% works, and it is very, very important. Um, thing to do. My daughter painted these here as we were as we were uh, putting them in and uh, she's done an absolutely excellent job. Um, we just used a little roller and about a litre of, of, of white paint and that's all it took, about a litre, around about a litre of paint. It takes very little just to put an X and a couple of dots and any way you want it at all just to tear the boards um, away. The boards get a wee bit weary of the colours. Whatever it is they're afraid of it seems to work greatly so there's not a single hole on any of these bales there's about a hundred and I think there's 197 bales here in this little pot you might look at but there is there's 197 bales here and uh, there's not one single hole not one single hole on any of these bales and they've been here now since I suppose they're here since the end of the first week beginning of the second week in, in August so they're here a while like and they haven't been disturbed whatsoever so now we go and look at 60 we have about 60 70 bales in a field um, just behind us here just literally from here over here and they were taken off they were actually taken uh, off a field that we just had enough room in our first for our first cut in our silage pit and we uh, had a bale our last field four acres in it four and a half acres in it and we got um, nearly 70 bales out of it so we're gonna go up they weren't painted uh, through bad weather and things like that we just didn't get around to painting it I uh, just took a chance that they would be okay but you're gonna see now the difference so yeah so let's move on to these and see what they're like and here now we are up at our other bales now these bales weren't painted um, as I say the weather was bad uh, they come off this field here and it rained then for two to three weeks and the bales were always wet and we never got just never got round to, to doing it and then not through no fault but my own I just didn't do them um, I was very very busy I took a chance that they'd be okay uh, but I was wrong completely wrong so I'm gonna show you now the difference nearly the ones in the inner side in inside aren't too bad but the ones on the outside have been very badly marked so you see what the board does pecks into the bales really does go to town on them you see all the little pinholes all through the bales and that's going to cause a huge harm for them bales there's an awful lot of damage done so I'm, I'm very disappointed i only actually seen this yesterday i came in and had a quick walk around the bales and checking things out and you can see all the holes it's just absolutely i think if you look in there again look at that bale starting to go off starting to rot in there as well <laughs> They're not all like this. The ones on the inside are okay. For some reason, they just tackle the ones that are on the outside, but they really went to town on them. So I'm going to have to tape these all up. The damage is done. I'm going to try to limit uh, uh, any more damage or any more water from getting in here. They are really, really, really bad. Uh, we use these bales first now because of this. As you can see there, like they're just completely. So, so that gives you an idea how important paint is on your bales. Depending where you are, but where we are, you see the difference now. Them bales have been absolutely pecked to bits. Like it's just riddled with pinholes. Absolutely riddled. So it's no, through no fault but my own. Boards, they are an absolute nuisance. That's what they are. Um, 
But anyway, it has to be fixed now. I'm gonna tape up these, take me about an hour and a half here to tape up all of these. And then I'm going to spray. I have a couple of marking sprays with me. I have no paint at home, but I had a couple of marking sprays with me and I'll spray these outside ones, just to hopefully to tear them away um, until we get to use them because I don't plan on using these bales until, um, well, until at least January. January, um, at late January before we started, but we'll probably, probably use these ones now sooner because they're damaged um, and try to stop them from going off completely. But that, that, that's going to damage them bales. It's going to sink in. It's amazing what a small hole can do. Uh, but yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm very annoyed about it, but it's one of those things. It's very common. It's just by neglect of my own. I should have, I took a chance. I'll not do it again. I've learned my lesson, so. So that's it now. I have them taped up as best I can. Um, loads and loads of patches, but at least it's dry. Uh, I was able to get the patches done. And just as I say, dry. It's starting to rain now at the moment. So the bales were all wet previously, and uh, the tape won't stick to the wet. And you might as well be idle trying to dry it. You won't get them dry. It'll still um, be damp enough that the tape will not stick. So I haven't every hole done because the tape ran out. Um, but I'll get another roll of tape now um, tomorrow, and it's given better weather. I think it's given a good day on on, uh, on Thursday. This is Tuesday, so hoping that we get another good day on Thursday. And there are only really small pinholes that I mightn't have got. I've got all the major ones. Um, weren't very bad from here, I suppose. This 15, 20 bales across on this side. None at all on the inside. That's unusual, for some reason for it, but none at all on the inside. It seems to be just all congregated in that middle area, but I'll put on the paint now next. It's just spray paint this time. I had a couple of cans of stuff in the house that I was laying over from other jobs and was there quite a while and said I might as well use it. It's actually fluorescent paint, so um, it should give a good reflection. Uh, hopefully that will tear them off. I have a few just still to get in the middle. I just hadn't enough, but I've, I think I have another can of that in the house. I'll come over here again on Thursday and I'll Get all the rest of the little small niggly holes um, that I've left behind. Let's give them rain tomorrow. If that comes, I'll leave it till then. But if it's not raining, I'll uh, I'll do them tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so that gives you a good insight as to why you should always paint your bales. Either paint them, put up a couple of scarecrows, or maybe that green net. You get the green net there that goes over the the um, sailish pits and things like that. I see a lot of people putting that up as well, but. Bit of a, it's a bit of a problem when there's wind. I did get a bit of that ESB tape, to, tape as well, that yellow tape, and I could have actually tied it from that three to a post to this three, back and forth in diagonals, and that works well as well too. So it does. But um, I think the best thing, the easiest thing, is just to paint them. Uh, they're not destroyed. For you, look, they'll be fine. Um, but I know by walking in around the hole, a small hole can do a lot of harm, you know, and it can go down to the bale far more than you might imagine. So um, it's definitely. It's worth time. It's worth taking the time and putting a bit of paint on them. Um, it's, it, it definitely is. I made that mistake. I'll not be making it again. As I say, you're always, you're always learning. Um, it's just I was rushing with the new shed and I was just quite busy um, with other jobs and it was something I overlooked. And um, ach, not just overlooked. It was something I just didn't do. I knew about it. I thought they'd be fine. And uh, I just said I'll risk it and. I've seen other years where I haven't done it and they've been fine. It's just this year, every year seems to be different and seem to be an awful lot more boards about this year, especially crows and grey crows, they, especially the grey crow. And they seem to be swarmed with them now this last while. I've never seen as many of them as, as I see now. But uh, yeah, problem is fixed. Not happen again, but it's a good heads up for anyone else uh, and, and people who's not into the farming. Uh, at all, might always wonder when they see their bales being painted on the side of the roads, is it just for design or just for a bit of fun? Well, now you know, there actually is a, a good reason behind the madness, so that's it. That's just a quick video on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please, if you like our videos, hit subscribe, give us a like, and give us a share. Um, we're uh, very happy with the amount of, amount of uh, subscribers, as I said before in the last video. Uh, the channel is doing very well and we're very very pleased uh, we exceeded our expectations um but i'm just pleased that people are liking the content and 
we'll do our best to put up as much as possible now and um, we've got lots of jobs as i say the shed is over there in the background and uh, it's we're waiting on this uh, actual uh, steel the sheeting to come the barriers and things i picked up today they are there um in the back of the silage trailer um but the sheeting and things have to come now in the next few days and hopefully the roof the plan is the roof will be on before friday and uh then the electrician he's booked for monday or tuesday of next week this is tuesday now of this week so in a week's time the electrician's booked to come in um so my plan is to have the whole sheeting completed and the electrician uh have his job completed all in the next week and a half and then all that's left to do is pour the cubicles cement around the outsides hang the barriers oh god yeah plenty yet but uh another month hopefully completely finished and um then it'll have to dry for a while before we can get these little guys in for christmas and that is the plan so hopefully fingers crossed everything will go to plan which a lot of times most of the times it doesn't but we'll be optimistic and uh, see how it goes. So thanks for watching again. All the best. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.